Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Farhan Tahir. Today I'm going to talk to you about osteoporosis and rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. It's an inflammation in the joints and the bones start to become thinner and more porous that lead to more increased risk of fractures and of course pain and morbidity comes along it. A recent observational study was done on patients with rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. There were about 11,000 of RA patients and about 3,000 of osteoarthritis patients. These patients were followed for about 10 years. They went through the screening of rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis. They had every six months exams. Their fracture uh, assessment was done on a routine basis. During a follow-up of over the 5.5 years, it was found out that RA patients and osteoarthritis patients were kind of screened almost the same amount, about 67 to 64 percent. But patients who had actual osteoporosis that should have been treated, there were only 55 percent who were treated. So there were, there were a significant number of patients who needed treatment and are not being given treatment. Now this is surprising because rheumatoid arthritis patients carry a significantly higher risk of osteoporosis. The risk is two times the risk that's seen in osteoarthritis patients. In, since 2008, it has been found out that the decline in osteoporosis screening and treatment has been happening. And I think it might have been due to the fact that osteoporosis medicines uh, like bisphosphonates were used for a long period of time without any drug holiday and that led to uh, actually risk of femoral fractures uh, that led to bones become more brittle and led to more uh, problems and that was the time when we started seeing decline in treatment of osteoporosis. Another fact that is important is if rheumatoid arthritis patients are being treated with steroids, doctors are more vigilant to treat osteoporosis. But if you don't see steroids in the regimen, although the patients have rheumatoid arthritis that increases their risk of osteoporosis, they're not being treated. So I think there is room for improvement for us you as a caregiver, as a patient, can bring this to attention of your doctors, and we as doctor community can do a better job in educating each other and our patients about their risk of osteoporosis and how we can treat it. I wish you best of luck for your health and wellness.